Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Today in this video, we were surprised, not only by what was being made in the office, but by the video itself. You are about to see a vlog by none other than our favorite. Oh, hey there. Rochelle! <laughs> Rochelle! This is a face you might be seeing more, a little bit more of, on our channel, not only in this vlog, but we are bringing back How To Go Do on the main channel, hosted by Rochelle. This is very exciting. I'm super excited. <laughs> What, give me a rundown of some of the things people are gonna learn with you. I'm uh, gonna learn how to build a basic DIY kit, maybe mm -hmm. how to use a measuring tape, maybe a circular saw. Yeah, that's a good one. Ikea mirror hang up. That is definitely <laughs> The <laughs> list is long on the things that Rochelle can teach us. We found literally the perfect person for the job and that series. So we're so excited for that, but also for this vlog. Shall we? We shall, roll it. <laughs> Hi. My name is Rochelle and I work with the Sorry Girls. You may or may not have seen me hanging out in the background of some TSG videos. A while back, all three girls were out of the office for the entire week and I was tasked with starting to think about some sort of credenza that could go under the big TV in the office, kind of make use of the space that's underneath. Since most of the team was actually gonna be working remotely during the week, I thought I'd take the opportunity to be a little sneaky and see if I could make this credenza a reality and surprise the girls with it. What? <laughs> yeah. The actual? Oh. Are you kidding me? Monday arrives. It's just Cassandra and I in office and I think I've got this brilliant idea. A few months ago, Kelsey mentioned that she thought it would be cool if we had a fireplace somewhere in the office. So I look on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji and I find a beautiful faux stone fireplace that burns bioethanol. So no electricity, no gas, but real flames. The seller is only asking $75 and is willing to deliver. I check with Nina, our producer, just to make sure I'm not about to do something ridiculous. Turns out she's really excited. Cass thinks it's a great idea. We're all on the same page. This is gonna look great under the TV and the girls are gonna love it. Since it's so close by, I pop over just to make sure it'll work in the space. Something like 15 minutes later, the fireplace is being delivered. And while I'm absolutely loving the look of it, I'm starting to doubt if this gorgeous piece is gonna get lost behind the desk and under the massive TV. But it's the end of the day, so I figure that's Tuesday Rochelle's problem. Nina's in office today, so she and Cassandra helped me move it into place. And yeah, it loses all of its charm once it's under the TV and behind the desk. And no amount of plans that I'm trying to come up with to build out the sides are gonna make me love this fireplace where it is. But we at Team TSG know how to pivot, so I get to work trying to figure something else out now that my original plan isn't gonna work. So I get to work sketching something I think might look nice, can maybe make use of some short wooden legs we have left from a makeover, but it's not quite right. So I do another sketch for something that's wall mounted. There's some scrap wood at the office I can use for the doors, leftover caning so the electronics can be hidden but still use the remotes. Surely we've got some hardware on hand that can be used. So we'll be okay. Operation Credenza Surprise is back on track. So sometimes the girls like to tease me because I seemingly have just about as many tools as we have at the office and I sometimes like to bring them in. Please don't judge me for how this workshop looks right now. It's a bit of a mess, but I'll give you a little tour. Ryobi, Ryobi, bunch of Ryobi tools in this bag. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple things, see what I can find from home that might be useful for this project. Um, and then I'm gonna head into work. Back at the office on Wednesday, I've lost two days where I could have been building, but I'm actually all by myself on this day. I can blast my music, cover the desk with tools, and just power through. Much as I love the days when the entire team is in the office, there's something sweet about having the entire space to myself. I didn't realize how much I dance when no one's watching. We had these little brackets left over from another project, so I thought I'd use them to wall mount this piece.
One of the things I love most about woodworking is the ability to customize the project to your needs. There's some electrical conduit on the wall that I needed to avoid, so I grabbed the jigsaw to notch out the boards exactly where I needed to. Yeah, I don't know what possessed me to think these teeny tiny little brackets were gonna cut it, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to go and get something a little bit bigger. Psych, I already got it. But you don't need to watch me do it again. Okay, so we've got that top part on the wall looking level and I'm actually running out of time for my day today. Basically, I'm just gonna build out the frame and then maybe tomorrow we can get to making the doors for it. All right, so I decided to break for the night and I'm actually gonna see a concert at the Axis Club. I had never been here before last week when we were actually invited to the Fifi Dobson concert. Rock star, by the way. But yeah, I'm gonna go see Connor Maynard, hang out for a bit, and uh, get back to the building tomorrow. Okay, hey, we're back. It's a new day. I have Baljeet here with me today. Got the frame, done. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna move on to doing the doors for it. Can I help you do doors? You can help me do doors. We're gonna do doors. We're gonna do doors. So of course, we did not proceed to do doors. I actually needed to do some sanding outside before the weather turned on me. Hey, OPLG. The logs are here. The logs! The logs! All right, let's see how they look. <gasps> what you got? Little pine cones! Little pine cones! Little pine cones! That's not bad. Little pine cones! Okay, right, <laughs> this is gonna look super cute in the fireplace. It'll look really good. All right. Sanding always takes way longer than I think it's going to. What better way to celebrate the end of a good sanding session than with a dance break? Thank you. <laughs> okay, now the tours. I am always happy to share any DIY knowledge I have and try to get others involved when I can. So I'm super excited to have the chance to do more of that over on the main channel. Keep an eye out for new episodes of our How To Go Do series where I get to do just that. Okay guys, so I'm actually really far behind on this whole credenza project. It's Friday, the girls are coming back after the weekend and I really, really wanna get this done and the office pulled back together so that it's a big surprise for them. I'm just gonna power ahead with this credenza, I'm trying to figure things out as I go. We had these at the office and I mean, they're cute, but I went back in my stash at home and I found these ones which I think are just um, maybe a little bit better fit for something that's going in front of that wallpaper. And I think that these are just a little bit too simple, a little bit too contemporary. And I think if I spray paint these and the knobs we picked yesterday gold, a nice simple look to the credenza with hardware that we already have. Okay, I thought I was being brilliant again, so I thought I'd share. We had these magnets at the office left over from Becky's robot bar cart project, which you should definitely check out if you haven't already. We had these finishing washers at the office that attached to the door, and the magnet mounted inside the cabinet should help to hold the doors closed. So I cut down some wooden blocks, drilled a hole just deep enough for the magnet, and glued them in place. It's becoming obvious that I am not gonna get this credenza done by the end of the day, so I stop working on that to take advantage of the extra hands that I've got in office to move the fireplace into its new home. Can I three more? Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, where do you think I learned most of this stuff? Before there was YouTube. Wait, there was are you serious? She does all this stuff? She had a drill in my hand when I was a wee little girl. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Like, well, why are we Nope. 
No. Too gaudy? It's just, it's just, it's just too much happening. Right. Okay. But it's like, do we need more mirrors? <laughs> do we need more mirrors? <laughs> wow. Mirrors on mirrors on mirrors. Yes. <laughs> Ever since I was little, I have loved IKEA furniture, especially how versatile their adjustable shelves can be. So it's cool that they make jigs that can help you drill all the holes evenly and the right depth for shelf pins that are available at the hardware store. Anyways, I stayed way later than I'd like to admit to, and I still wasn't done. So I actually popped in on the Saturday with my mom to put the finishing touches on the credenza, mount it, and style everything for the big reveal. Just need to grab some fuel for the fireplace. Morning. We cleaned it. Oh, we got a fireplace. This was all Rochelle. Right, actually, Rochelle. Is she? All I Rochelle. Feel like she's up in the she built that? Really, she built yeah. that. Rochelle, but come here right now. Right right come here right, right now. You're in trouble. Rochelle. <laughs> Rochelle. Like oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Come tell us. Guys, I'm literally attacking you. From scratch. <laughs> yeah. Like, literally, stop. This would take me a month. <laughs> How did you do this? It's so good. Oh, look at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Built it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You made this? Yeah. Rochelle. I mean, I'm not surprised. Let's make that clear. But this is absolutely incredible. No wonder, because it's so absolutely perfect for this space. Are you kidding me? You're so sweet. <laughs> no, 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 this is amazing. I literally thought you like found this on Marketplace but it's really expensive from CB2 or something. You are so impressive. <laughs> You're so lovely. <laughs> uh, we did do some filming, so maybe it could be a video. I guess since you just watched this, it could be a video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my first video. And if you wanna see even more DIY and design, you can check out the time I helped Kelsey make over her garage. I'll see you soon. Wow, it's giving, you know, like a uh, Snow White? Like it's like Tudor House. You're right! Look at Val G with the knowledge. <laughs>